It's been brought to my attention recently that there are a lot of trading psychology myths and traps in the industry. And there are some ideas and there are some principles and there are some things being promoted in the trading psychology space that aren't necessarily true. And in fact, traders who subscribe to these beliefs or these ideas are putting themselves at a significant disadvantage. And a lot of the times they don't even know about it. They don't even know that this idea or this belief that they're holding um, dear to themselves or going into the market with is actually sabotaging their performance. And we can speak about this in the general trading psychology space. Um, these myths and traps are also pre uh, prevalent in the personal development space, in the business space, etc., etc. So what I want to do in this particular video is I want to shout out this one particular myth, this one trap that so many traders are falling victim to. And uh, there's one major overarching trap. Um, and then there are micro uh, ideas that I'm also going to bring to surface to ensure that you are well protected, you have the proper psychology that's going to enable you to come to the market and consistently execute so you can have consistent profitability and you can ultimately achieve your trading goals like scaling up, etc, etc. Now, I also want to bring something that's slightly new to this channel, I haven't spoken a lot about uh, recently. Um, and that's the idea of training psychology affirmations. At the end of this video, I'm going to give you a very powerful, a very profound training psychology affirmation that embodies the principle I'm going to share in this particular video and that embodies the psychology of successful traders. So make sure you stick it to the end of the video where I share that affirmation and I go into a little bit more detail on it as well. This particular video on a very popular, very common trading psychology myth that could be sabotaging your performance. Let's get into it. Now, the trading mindset myth, um, this could very well be killing your performance. And uh, this particular myth um, is that there are traders out there who expect themselves to be one-sided. And uh, I wanna share a little story with you because this was a very um, eye-opening thing for me in my journey. It was a few years into my journey uh, three, four years into my journey where I had the opportunity to work with a very successful trader one-on-one. -on -one. Um, they were doing very, very well at the time and uh, they took me under their wing and they did some one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions with me. Now, I was going into these coaching sessions with this particular individual. I've spoken about them on this channel before. I was going into these coaching sessions with this idea that I was going to learn from them this, this secret formula or this secret idea while doing a lot of psychology work on how I could now become a trader who was always successful, always winning every month, every week, was always profitable, was always up, was always in the green, was always in uh, a positive, uh, successful uh, state where I was making money every week, every month. That's what I thought I was gonna learn from this individual. And I remember we went on, on a call, one of our first calls, and uh, one of the things they taught me straight away initially was they just opened up and they shared, I'm making a significant amount of money, a mind boggling amount of money. Uh, this individual at the time was making uh, more in a month than a lot of people make in a year's salary. And uh, what they went off to say after they said how much they were making was that I still go through drawdown, I still go through uh, challenging times, I still go through uh, significant losses, I still go through all these types of things. I still have negative weeks, negative months, et cetera, et cetera. But at the end of the year, I am net positive and I ultimately have a very successful end of year result. So initially, just off the bat, that shattered this whole idea that I had to be one-sided as a trader. And in fact, it took a lot of pressure off my shoulders. Now, all of a sudden, I realized that I didn't need to be a trader who was making money every day or every week or even every month. Um, to ultimately be a consistently profitable, successful trader. In my mind at the time, this individual was the epitome of successful trading and they were coming forward and they were sharing their challenges. They were sharing their, the drawbacks and the drawdowns they go through and the challenging months and the challenging times they have. And I think they did that intentionally to uh, awaken me to the realities of trading. And the realities of trading is that you're not gonna be profitable every month or every week. And uh, as I started to work with more and more traders, especially with some of the, 
um, more successful prop firms I've worked with, in-house prop firms, they have some very successful traders trading a lot of capital. And I've seen that same principle prevalent with them as well, that they're not one-sided, they're not these godlike figures who win all the time. And uh, I think this is an important message because sometimes uh, retail traders, they idolize certain individuals and they think that they're always pulling 10% months or they're always positive or always profitable at the end of the week, every, every, uh, at the end of every month. And what they do is they then compare their results to these, in their mind, quote unquote, highly successful traders. And because their results don't align with that, um, they then beat themselves up and they think they're doing something wrong. Where in fact, a lot of the times, these traders are on the right trajectory to being consistently profitable, but all they have to do is expand their awareness. And instead of thinking week to week or month to month, they just need to think year to year. And they realize that a successful trader at the end of the year could very well have negative months and go into drawdown at certain periods of that year as well. So be aware of this trading mindset myth and trap of being positive all the time, being psychologically positive all the time, being up all the time, um, and also being uh, uh, in the positive with your trading results at the end of every month or at the end of every week or at the end of every day. It's not realistic to expect yourself to be one-sided, positive, up, profitable, excited, happy, all these things, all these one-sided labels that individuals try and impose on themselves, it's not realistic to be that way all the time. The truth is you're gonna have both. You're gonna have positive, you're also gonna have negative, you're gonna have up, you're gonna have down, you're gonna have happy, you're gonna have sad, you're gonna have profitable, you're gonna have losses as well. And the deeper message to this video is that both sides are essential um, because uh, what this individual, this trader also made me aware of when they went on to say how challenging their, their months have, have been was the benefits of that and the lessons they learned from that and how that's been a, a driving force for refinement and improvement in their trading. So you have to realize that you're not gonna be one side, you're gonna have two sides to your trading results and to yourself as a human being, but both sides are essential. We need the challenge, we need the drawdown, we need the drawback, we need the sad, we need the challenge in our life in order to grow in order to learn lessons, get back to priority, and ultimately progress to new levels. So the big myth, the big trap that I see very common with retail traders especially, is they expect themselves to be one-sided. Always positive, always winning, always up, and that's just not realistic. They put themselves at a significant, significant disadvantage, okay? Because what's happening in their mind is the human psychology has two sides to it. It has a positive, it has a negative side. Both sides are essential. If you were to go up to anybody and ask them, are you sometimes happy and sometimes sad? Um, the answer is gonna be yes. At times you're happy as an individual, you're up, you're feeling positive, you have more dopamine in your brain. And at sometimes you go through sad periods and every human being is gonna oscillate between happy and sad throughout the day or throughout the week or throughout the month. Typically more stable people uh, don't oscillate as much, they tend to be more balanced. And those individuals who are a little bit less stable, seeking after one-sided fantasies, they tend to swing pretty hard and they go through quite severe oscillations throughout a day or throughout a week. But you ask any human being and they're gonna say yes. Sometimes I'm happy, sometimes I'm sad. And sometimes some individuals who are a little bit more stoic, a little bit more balanced may not use that language. They may have slightly lesser oscillations in volatility. Um, but no matter who you are as an individual, you're gonna have both sides. And what happens here is because of the personal development industry or because some industry, uh, some gurus in the industry are saying that you always have to be positive, you always have to be up, you always have to be winning, individuals try and impose this artificial fantasy of being positive, winning, and up all the time onto the two-sided human nature. And they're trying to impose an artificial uh, fantasy onto, um, onto human nature. And uh, what happens is these individuals put unrealistic expectations on themselves and they beat themselves up because now all of a sudden, their two-sided nature isn't aligning with this one-sided facade, this one-sided fantasy. So be aware of this trap, be aware of this myth. And I'm gonna cover in greater detail why this is such a, a big trap and why you don't wanna be thinking one-sided, why you wanna be more balanced with your thinking and why being positive all the time is not one, realistic, and two, it's not what the most successful traders are doing. The most successful traders are balanced in their thinking. They're aware of both sides and they 
know how to use both their emotions to their advantage, both the positive and negative emotions, they realize that's just feedback and they get back on track. So be aware, don't try and impose one-sided fantasies on yourself. I'm grateful to this individual, it was such an important lesson. Um, I always sort of thought I knew that lesson theoretically, but when I saw it contextualized with this individual, with this very successful trader, who at the time I very much idolized, um, it, what it did do is it made me take them off the pedestal and realize they're just a human being at the, other, at the end of the day, just like that's the realization I have had with a lot of successful traders, they're just human beings at the end of the day. And you realize that there's no need to impose these one-sided expectations on yourself. You take the pressure off your shoulders and then you go away from being addicted to certain outcomes as a trader and you get back to just trading your edge, trading your trading plan. And you get consistent with trading your trading plan without judging the outcome so soon, without judging every single trade, you let your edge play out over a quarter, over a year sample space, okay? Now, let's give some real life examples of how one-sided thinking, being positive all the time, and being up and being supportive and being profitable all the time, is actually a disadvantage. So you can start to crack this fantasy and you can start to realize that one, it's not real, and two, you don't really wanna be thinking that way anyway, because some of the best individuals, the best business minds out there, the Elon Musks, for example, they're two-sided thinkers. If you think about it, it seems a bit silly of someone like Elon Musk to say, let's just think positively about going to Mars. Let's just focus on all the positives and all the ups and let's just be in that one state of mind and let's try and get a, a plane and let's try and colonize Mars, for example. It's not realistic. Individuals like Elon Musk are paying full teams of, of people to find every single thing that could go wrong, all the risks, all the drawbacks, everything that could go wrong about going to Mars and they're planning for those contingencies. They're using negative thinking to their advantage to be aware and to be um, awakened to the, to the drawbacks and the true risks. And so too, traders need to be aware of both the advantages, yes, but also the disadvantages of what they're doing. So they're aware of the risks and the drawbacks because both are gonna be, are gonna be there. The question is, are you aware of them or not? So if you have this one-sided expectation in yourself that I always have to be positive, I always have to be up, I always have to be profitable every week, every month, then what's gonna happen is your results are most likely not gonna align with that because the realities of trading is that you're gonna both win and lose. It's part of the sample space. You're gonna have profitable trades, you're also gonna have unprofitable trades. And the, the realities of trading is that some months are gonna be profitable, some months are not gonna be profitable. Some weeks are gonna be profitable, some weeks aren't gonna be profitable, some days are gonna be profitable, some days aren't gonna be profitable. But if you're imposing this artificial fantasy on yourself that you have to be profitable every day, every trade, every week, every month, then what's gonna happen is when the realities of your trading don't align with this artificial fantasy that you've just created or you've taken on from someone out there, then you're gonna beat yourself up and you're gonna think, what's wrong with me? And you're gonna try and change something that may actually be working if you just expanded your time horizon in your mind and you thought longer term. So be aware of imposing this one-sided fantasy on yourself of having to be profitable, having to be successful, having to be uh, making money at the end of every day, every week, every month, because one, it's not realistic, and two, you may actually stop doing something that works because you're not making money every day, every week. Be aware of this fantasy, be aware of this artificial fantasy that many traders are imposing on their trading, okay? You need to sometimes just let your edge play out, even though some days, some weeks, some months may not be profitable. What's important, and you've heard me talk about this on this YouTube channel a lot, what's important is you have to transcend this whole idea of outcome-based thinking. You have to transcend the idea or the addiction to a certain outcome on an individual trade. So you can just get back to sticking to your processes and executing your trading plan consistently and letting your edge play out over a quarter or over a year even, and just letting the edge play out. And uh, I put the free Bulletproof Your Mindset tool together. It's a free link in the description. It's a tool that every one of you can watch and download and use before every single trade to help you embody that type of thinking. Because that type of thinking is what I've seen the most successful traders are using and embodying in their trading. So I created a tool to help you do that as well. So be aware of imposing one-sided, artificial, positive, all positive expectations in yourself because you're gonna beat yourself up after every necessary loss as a trader and you may end up changing something that's gonna work if you just let your edge play out. The next thing here is I've also seen very commonly that traders 
uh, have a goal of going full time, for example, and guess what? They're only thinking about the benefits, they're only thinking about the positives, they're only thinking about uh, how good being a full time trader is going to be, and how successful they're all of a sudden now going to be, and how they can go tell their friends or tell their community or get that self assurance and self worth hit from the fact that now they're trading full time. But guess what? Trading full time has both, yes, it has benefits, it has advantages, you get more freedom, you get to be your own boss. Uh, you don't have to wake up to go to a job. Sometimes you don't have to wake up to an alarm. You can travel. You can do all those types of things. But there are true risks and the true draw drawbacks of being a full-time trader as well. For example, now you are responsible for your own income. And sometimes the market may not present opportunities. And sometimes the market may not, uh, you know, present the type of opportunities that make you profitable. And sometimes there may be crazy anomalies in the market like we had through 2019 that nobody would have expected. And now you're on your own boss, so the, you have to create your own income, and you're relying on a, a probability model for your income. So there are true drawbacks of being a full-time trader. But the issue here is if you're only thinking positively and you're only thinking about the benefits going into full-time trading, then what's going to happen is you're going to come to becoming a full-time trader, and then you're going to be smacked by the realities of being a full-time trader, which has both benefit and drawback and you're gonna be unprepared for the drawbacks and the risks. And I've seen this type of scenario put someone who was working a nine to five job, they've left their job to become a full-time trader and then they had to go back to working nine to five because they weren't prepared for the risks. So it's important when you're pursuing a goal like going full-time, you're aware of, okay, you're aware of the benefits, great, you're already aware of them, otherwise you wouldn't wanna become a full-time trader. Now you have to make yourself aware of the risks and the drawbacks as well and be aware of every single thing that could go wrong and then plan contingencies for each of those. How do I lower the probability of that risk happening? How do I lower the impact if that risk does happen? So you're prepared and you're planned for those risks. Just like, for example, someone like Elon Musk would do going to Mars. Take that same mentality and put it towards your goals of becoming a full-time trader, for example. Or another goal that many traders have is going for funding and being a funded trader. Same thing, being a funded trader has both benefit and drawback. There are greater, uh, there are greater responsibilities being a funded trader, there's greater stresses. Uh, you can't hide necessarily behind uh, not knowing your trading plan, not knowing your edge very well. There's greater accountability because you're trading more capital. There's greater fear, there's greater greed, there's greater wins, there's greater losses. Everything is taken to the next level, greater pressures um, because there's more money on the line. So you have to be aware of the risks and the drawbacks that may influence your sleep, that may have higher stress on your health, okay? You have to be aware of the risks and the drawbacks of being a funded trader. And before you go for it, plan for those risks. Let's say, for example, one of the risks is the fact when you wanna go full-time is that now you don't have a secure source of income anymore. So what can you do to plan and prepare for that? Well, you could have six to 12 months cash in the bank as just in case peace of mind money, just in case the market doesn't present opportunities, you have cash there. Or you may choose to set up another business or pursue a passion that also you can monetize and create income from. Or you may choose to work part-time as opposed to just not working at all entirely. So you're preparing for the risks in advance. If they do come true, you have contingencies there. Or for example, one of the risks of being a funded trader is now uh, uh, potentially something that I uh, had as a drawback or risk when I took on that first round of investment was that it impacted my sleep and I couldn't sleep as well because I was constantly worried about certain positions. So you can put contingencies in place and uh, things in place that can prepare yourself for that. Uh, maybe for example, if you're more of day trading style, you don't uh, hold any positions overnight, you close your positions out overnight. Or if you know you're gonna go to bed, you maybe take a, a, a slightly less, uh, less risk on an individual position, or you try your st stops to take off half the risk or take off full risk. So you're putting contingencies in place to prepare for something that you think could go wrong. Um, and what you're doing here is you're using negative thinking to your advantage to risk manage so you're prepared. So please, please, please be aware of this uh, myth and trap in the industry of having to be positive all the time. It's, it's a complete farce, it's a complete uh, myth in this uh, in this industry. Now, positive thinking may be useful if you're down in the dumps 
and you're in a state of fear and you're extremely resentful, if you're net negative, then positive thinking is essential to get yourself back to a state of balance. But you don't want to then use, continue to use positive thinking to get yourself into a positive state. You want to be balanced. You want to be aware of both sides. But if you're already positive, positively thinking and you're aware of the benefits, you need to make yourself aware of the drawbacks to get yourself back to a state of equilibrium, a state of balance. So I don't promote positive thinking. I don't promote negative thinking. I promote balanced thinking. Be aware of both sides of the equation so you have the most data in your mind and you can make the wisest decisions. Because those individuals who just use positive thinking, they're not aware of the risks, they're not aware of the drawbacks, they're ignorant to those side, that side, they're not aware. And those individuals who just use negative thinking aren't aware of the benefits, they're ignorant in that state. So you wanna be aware, you wanna be aware of both sides. Now, what I'm also seeing in the industry is then people promoting these crazy, crazy ideas of waking up in the morning and just using positive affirmations and just saying positive things to yourself like, I'm a successful trader, I'm a profitable trader, all these types of things which I think is completely ridiculous um, because again, what you're doing is you're reaffirming a one-sided unrealistic expectation. To use an affirmation like this, I'm gonna bring the iPad up. To use an affirmation like, I am always winning as a trader is completely ridiculous. And let me explain why. You're imposing on yourself an unrealistic expectation, a one-sided fantasy that breaks universal laws in the market. The truth is as a trader, your edge requires you to both win and lose as a trader. So to impose this idea that you're always a winning trader is completely ridiculous. So I would love to share with you how uh, I pass on to my students, my clients, they should set affirmations um, and uh, affirmations that will actually work, that are grounded in truth, that you will actually be able to believe because they're true and will actually be beneficial to your trading journey. Instead of imposing these unrealistic one-sided expectations or fantasies on yourself, how about an affirmation like this? I am a consistently profitable trader because I consistently execute on my processes. Now, with this type of affirmation, is it true first and foremost? Well, if you have an edge and you have a mechanical trading plan, which is your processes, then yes, if you consistently execute on your processes, you're guaranteed consistent profitability over a large sample space, over a large period of time. So this is realistic to expect. I am a consistently profitable trader because I consistently execute on my processes. Now you wanna make sure you truly have an edge and you truly have a mechanical trading plans guiding you in the markets, but this is an affirmation that you would wanna set on yourself and wanna remind yourself of daily because what it's affirming is process-based thinking. If I come to the market and consistently execute on my trading plan, then I can have certainty in consistent profitability over a large enough sample space because I know I have an edge. Now that doesn't mean you expect yourself to be profitable in every individual trade, but you're expecting yourself to be consistently profitable over a large sample space because you're consistently executing on your trading plan. So that would be a wide affirmation have. So ensure your affirmations are process-based, ensure your affirmations are balanced. This is a balanced affirmation, all right? Because consistently profitable also embodies the fact you're gonna win and lose as a trader. Another great affirmation is despite wins and losses, I consistently execute on my trading plan. What a great affirmation. Despite wins and losses, I consistently execute on my, on my trading plan. Now another component here is the word because with the affirmations. Because allows you in your mind to connect an action step to it or a reason to it. And what it does is it just makes it more real in your mind. I'm a consistently profitable trader. That's okay, you could say that as an affirmation, 
But when you add, because I consistently execute on my trading processes and you attach that action in your mind, it becomes a more believable thing. So stop using these types of affirmations, which I believe are just absolutely ridiculous um, because they're completely unrealistic. They're not grounding universal truth and no trader is ever gonna get to a state where they're always winning as a trader and start using balanced affirmations that are process-based. This is outcome-based thinking, outcome, and these two here are process-based. You see that? Do you see the difference there? One's process-based, one's outcome-based, okay? So in summary, stop setting and falling for this myth or trap. You're gonna be always positive trader and always winning trader and always up trader. You don't need to be. It's not realistic. Take that pressure off your shoulders. You can still be consistently profitable as a trader. You can still be pulling significant amounts of money out of the market without being positive, uh, profitable at the end of every week, at end, end of every month. Think longer term. And then with your affirmations, make sure affirmations are balanced, make sure they're realistic and make sure they're process based. Now, if you resonate with this particular video, you're gonna absolutely love the 12 week program. Be sure to check the link in the description. There's a free seven day trial to that. Um, this is just the tip of the iceberg to the trading psychology information I pass on. The teachings, the tools, the accountability, the coaching for me is all uh, cutting edge in the 12 week program. So check that out if you resonate with this information. And also, if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Share this information with trading friends that you know will get value from it. And thank you for watching to the end. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Cheers.